Woo! WrestleManiac, aka Madden Maniac, 11:30. Chad Arms, baby. We are back. Episode six of the Madden 19 franchise mode with the San Francisco 49ers, baby. We're kicking this episode. Episode. We're kicking this episode off right. Gonna scout some more players, courtesy of the Boy Tucks uh, list that I downloaded. Just going through and checking some guys out. I got Avery Morris here, cornerback. Gonna be looks like a mid first rounder. Adding these to my draft board as well. Aaron Hunter, um, cornerback as well. Let's see. There's Judge Judge Wiley, strong safety. He's looking like some good prospects, man. Bryce Moses. He's a quarterback, mid-first rounder. Devontae Spears, running back, early first rounder. Hell, hell yeah, buddy. Tyrone Seymour, linebacker. No, the left end, sorry. So, yeah. Again, I'm, I'm not super, super educated on all the ins and outs front office-wise on Madden. I just love playing Madden, you know, and franchise mode is my favorite. Um, Trent Taylor's coming back from injury, finally. But Robinson's out. So, <laughs> we got Trent back. He missed, I think, five weeks. But Robinson's out for about that many. Well, that ain't no good, huh? Sorry for the yawn. I've been fighting off a bunch of these sinuses and all that good stuff. Tis the season, baby. Clark, that's the gift that keeps on giving all year round. That it is, Edward. That it is indeed. Shout out Christmas Vacation. Matt Breda. He's been showing out, you know, in the last couple of weeks. Um, Pierre Garçon is leading us in uh, receiving yards at 370. He's also got four touchdowns. So that's awesome. But my boy Kittle, he's got three touchdown catches. 219 yards. Marquise Goodwins had a few had over 200 yards receiving on the season. God, I say that two times, ten times fast. 200 yards receiving on the season. Reuben Foster, three and a half sacks uh, at a Ochu, and then of course the boy Sherman picking them all for us. We got to go to Game Bay. We got to we got to go to Game Bay. Game Bay. Green Bay. Oh, man. One of these days, I'm going to learn the English language. I'm 34 years old, and I still ain't learned it. But it is what it is. Pretty even matchup there. We're at 81. They're at 82 overall. Which uniforms are we going to go with tonight? And this is Monday Night Football, baby. Uh, black on blacks. So what should we do? Should we do the all whites? Yeah white on white uh, uniforms there so we about to get it once again the instrumental is provided by the homeboy wee wee uh, he's a beast thanks again to everybody that's been subscribing and following these videos man it means a lot to me I'm having lots of fun with them we're just gonna keep pushing this series I'm gonna do at least two videos two franchise maybe three franchise videos a week depending on how you know how the schedule is and try to really power through these I'd like to do several franchises this year with several different teams so um, next one the next one I do will be an AFC team probably I'll switch over to the other it's AFC we about to get started we about to get started yeah we about to get started it's my vocals oh man this may be a rough one. On the road in Green Bay, Aaron Rodgers, who's like a 99, I think, on the game. So, we're going to take it to his ass. There's Montgomery. Montgomery. Uh, and it's raining, too. That's just going to be awesome for our, our fumble rooski problems. It's just going to be perfect for that. And it's like a perfect disaster there. But it is Monday night, and... This has been the man with the plan right here, George Kittle. Last week he had four catches for 78 yards and a touchdown. See if we can do that again this week. The good thing about Kittle too, man, is he's young. 
So that could be a tandem that, that we could have for a while between him and Garoppolo. We about to kick this thing off, baby. Whammy. All right, Pettis. Let's do something with it, play boy. Oh, all right, we'll take it up to the 35-yard line. Let's get this shit started off. Jimmy the Goat Garoppolo. Jimmy G, 1,282 yards, 9 TDs, 10 picks. He's 82 for 142. So just trying to get them stats back to even kill, man. Them, that that six-turnover game he had, four picks and two fumbles was bad. Um, so... Second down and nine. We're in the shotgun here. Jimmy G going to go. Oh, he's going to tar that motherfucker. 17 yards. First down up to the 47. We are moving. Looking at a third down and nine here. Just inside the 50. We're in the gun. Garoppolo going to roll over to the right side. He's going to find Garcon. First down. 17-yard gain and an injury timeout. I think it was one of our linemen, of course. <sighs> third down and two. On the 23-yard line. Garoppolo over the middle to Kittle. Over the middle to Kittle. Woo! Down to the 5, 16-yard gain there. And uh, we're looking at a first down and go. We're going to hand off to the left side. That's Breda. Touchdown. Give him six. And we get on the board first. And, uh, yeah. The boy, Matt Breda, showing out for us. So we're up 7-0. They're looking at a third and nine on their own 26-yard line. Rodgers gets hit as he throws it. No, sir, Reed. We're going to need y'all to punt that back to us, fuckos. Let's get this ball back. Um, so they did punt to us. We ended up doing a three and out. And then on third down, we sack Rodgers. They punt to us again. So now we get the ball back. We're up 7-zip. Less than a minute left in the first quarter. Where was I throwing? Jimmy G, that's not your fault, brother. That is Chad Arms' fault. He's a dumb fuck. Uh, so, yeah. So, after that ridiculous interception that I just threw, uh, we're up 7 nothing. Rodgers sacked again. We were getting to him. Thomas with the sack. Um, Nine-yard loss. Big sack there. Second down and 19. Um, they end up getting nine yards of that back. They attempt a field goal. They knock it in, but they call us for roughing the kicker. So it's an automatic first down, 15 yards. We end up holding them out from scoring a touchdown, but um, they're going to kick a much shorter field goal this time, and they knock it in. So it's 7-3. to three. We're up. And uh, second and seven, we're going to hand off to Braid over the right side. Nice juke, first down gainer. Um Matt Breda had a solid game for us. So we're looking at a first and 10. Garoppolo in the gun. Plenty of time to throw it. Over the left side. Did he get in? Yes, he did, baby. Yes, he did. Kittle, big gainer. It's first and 10. We're inside the 50-yard line. We're driving. Garoppolo back to throw it. Going to roll over to the right side again. Nice throw over the right over to Garcon, that's another first down. So, second down and 12, Garoppolo back to pass again. Feeling the pressure, gonna roll to the right and get sacked and fumble it. Luckily, they were clumsy fucks and kicked it out of bounds, so we still remain possession, which we do nothing with, we end up punting. I don't know how he got so open, it was a break in coverage, big gainer for the Packers. It's second down and seven now. They're looking to try to get some points back. Throws over the left side. That's a first down. Austin Rodgers. Not Austin Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers starting to pick us apart here. Second down and three. Throwing over the right side. That's another first down for the Packers. Second down and ten. Rodgers. Touchdown. Give him six. And they go up 10-7 on us. Closing out the first half, Garoppolo throws over to the left side to Kittle. And they hit us with a, uh, they get an unnecessary roughness call. So we get an extra 15 tacked onto that. Um, so that, that turns into like a 30-yard gain at the end of it. So we're trying to get us some points before the end of the first half. We're on our own 46-yard line. 
Garoppolo to throw. Plenty of time over the middle to Kittle. And he's just not going to be stopped there. No, so we get us a timeout, and he ended up getting a field goal before the half. So it's 10-10 at the half. First and 10 for the pack here. Third quarter. Rodgers to throw over the left side. Oh, my goodness. Big gainer there. First and 10. They end up doing nothing with it, though. We end up holding them out to a punt. We're looking at a third and three towards the end of the third quarter, and we hit up Selleck. That's a first down. Big third down conversion there for us. So it's still tied 10 apiece. Garoppolo back to throw it over the middle. Oh, goodness. I don't see how that didn't get picked off, but Kittle was there. And, man, what a game he's having. Five catches for 105 yards already. But, again, we end up having to punt. Um, it's 10-10. Rodgers throwing deep. Picked off. Richard Sherman. <laughs> I did it again. Richard Sherman says, no soup for you. Pick off. That's his third interception of the season. And Rodgers slides down there. We don't get anything from the turnover. Nearly get a safety there. They end up punting it back to us. Fourth quarter, three minutes to go. It's 10 apiece. And here we go. Garoppolo to throw it. Hit as he throws over the middle. Oh! <laughs> he could go all the way. Give him six. What a amazing play that was. Holy shit. 70-yard touchdown. So we go up 16-10. We missed the extra point. I hit the freaking upright. We're going to we're going to tar that thing there with uh, CJ there coming in for an injured um Garoppolo. So we're up 16-10 and we don't do nothing with the drive. So it's 16-10. We sack Rodgers again. They're going to go in the no huddle at second and 17. We're down to a minute left in the game. We sack Rodgers again. It's two in a row. So they're looking at a fourth and 26 with 54 seconds left. And this is a big play right here. Rodgers, time to throw it. Going deep. Oh, what a deflection at the end. Holy shit. So we feel like we're going to be Steve Spurriers. So we're up 16 to 10. We drive down with four last play of the game. Throwing over the tights. Touchdown. Just to rub a little salt in that wound there. And we go up 23 to 10. And uh, that's how we finish it. 23 to 10. We upset the uh, Green Bay Packers on the road. What a day we had on the defensive end. You know, we got that interception with Sherman. Had several sacks. There you see the, the, the team stats. They didn't have they didn't do anything on the ground and didn't do much in the air. We only held 126 passing yards. Uh, Jimmy G, 220 yards in the air with a touchdown pass. Braid had 55 yards. Kittle, six catches. And then you see Marquise Goodwin had that 70 yard touchdown catch. Pierre Garcon had a touchdown catch as well. So, yeah, so so CJ, our backup quarterback, CJ Brethard, has thrown two touchdown passes, and he's only thrown two passes, I believe. There's something crazy like that, like pretty good efficiency there. So, we get a big win on the road, man. I was excited about that one. Um, we needed it. And let's see what's Kyle Shanahan's got several weekly goals done. Building that XP, I'm just going to let it build for a little bit. Eric Armstead and Smith are going to get upgraded. So we move to, what are we, 4-2? and two? Yeah, we're 4-2 and two on the season. Big win for us. We'll go ahead and get to the next week here. See who we got next on the plate. Two wins in a row, man. That's pretty awesome. Got a big injury decision to make, which with me, McGlinchey, we're not even going to take a chance. We're going to go ahead and let this back up start. I'm not trying to bring people back from their injuries early because they always get hurt so much worse. They'll, like, break their neck or something. So checking out the weekly uh, grocery list of injuries here. Jonathan Cooper's only out one week. 
And then there's Aldrick Robinson's out four weeks. McKinnon's out two weeks. McGlinchey's out another week. And Contavious is out the rest of the year still. I mean, that's just is what it is. But I appreciate all the support, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. This has been episode six. Be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified when I upload these. Love, peace, and hair grease, baby. Ooh.